today we've got another farm style vlog. There is lots going on, the weather is nice, and we have so much to do outside and around the farm. Did you just unlock that? Oh, but don't worry, you're gonna lock it again? Is that is that how this is going? Are you excited because your brother's away? Oh, going to see your brother! This is how every morning starts. Henry is so excited to see Levi. And the feelings are not mutual. Good morning, Levi. So I've got my milk pasteurizing on the stove. I have the granola in the oven. I have pizza dough and ham sitting out, so that will be defrosting for lunch today. So we are off to a good start. No, block it, girl. So I use pasteurized milk every, I don't know, say four, five days. But now with Henry being on milk, he drinks a lot of bottles, so I got pasteurized milk pretty much every other day. So this is something that I do a lot. So here we have the granola made. Oh my. We do a lot of tractor play around here. All right, so Levi is having cottage cheese for breakfast. And he's going to scoop it himself. We eat it with the spoon. Uh, well, first scoop it how much you need into your bowl, and then you can eat it with the spoon. Is that enough, or do you want more? No, that's enough. Okay. Um. So we're getting ready to go to the barn. They are spreading manure there, and so I'm hoping the kids will like to see it. Yeah. What are you doing? He's going to the field. He's going to spread the manure on the field. Our field? Yeah, our field. Are you waving at them, Henny? Good waving! There goes the manure spreader, and here comes in the mixer. This is the food for the cows. It's a busy place here today. So we decided to head over to where they were filling up the manure spreaders. And in case you haven't seen this before, it is kind of neat to see. So the big manure spreader backs in, and the manure goes um, from the actual tank in through the auger and then dumps into this and it is liquid manure but it uh, we bed with sand so you have to stir it up before you can pump it out and so this thing you see here is called a lagoon crawler and someone is using a remote control to actually stir up the manure so that it can be pumped out and then spread on the fields. Of 
course, other chores have to be done on the farm as well, so Levi was just helping Will out with a few of the cleaning yeah, put chores. Put the black ones together. Put that one where you just put Good job. All right, we're down at the barn, so we are going to head back home and try and get some things done since it is a really nice day. We are back home. Henry fell asleep in the van, which is perfect. So now Levi and I can try and get some stuff done outside before I need to make lunch. All right, so they're all happy. I'm putting them in places where I want them to uh, get rid of some of the weeds because otherwise they just destroy the grass. So it needs to be in a spot where you're okay with them eating everything. Uh, Nothing they love more than water. What do you think? Do you like the geese? Yeah. What happened to mom yesterday when she picked up the goose? Poop. Ah, I pooped. It pooped right down my leg and on my foot. It was a big mess. Right? Which one of you was the culprit? So I wanted to give you a garden update. The um, rhubarb is doing fantastic. We have got this front garden fully prepped. I added more manure to it and we um, turned it over and weeded it and everything. So that is set to go. I just need to plant it. Speaking of planting, I've got myself a bunch more. Uh, really, it's manure, but it's very composted. Uh, to add to the garden and I've got rabbit manure and chicken manure so I need to weed before I can add some of this stuff so that's kind of why it's sitting here waiting. So obviously I have seeds but I also went and picked up my plants as well because the forecast is good and last year things sold out so quickly that to find tomato plants um, I had to send my parents on a hunt because they were nowhere to be found and that was like the end of May so I bought them the middle of May this time and so I've got, you know, some herbs. I have uh, eggplant here, different kinds of tomato, peppers, uh, basil. So I should be set. Everything else uh, besides this should just be seeds. So here is that broody hen that's sitting on eggs. Um, when I open it up to check on it, she usually jumps out like this and comes out and has her food and water this way, which is uh, a bit of a pain because then I have to catch her and put her back on before her eggs get cold. But that's what she's doing. I'm so glad that I actually already took out uh, the meat and the pizza dough, so it's really quick just to throw together a pizza. Yes, it is Hawaiian. I know some people don't like that, but we enjoy it. It's super easy because I can keep a can of pineapple in the house, have some ham in the freezer, and it's pretty easy to throw together a pizza meal. So we are actually headed to go and get some new pear trees and some strawberry plants. We had to pre-order them and today is the pickup day so we are excited to grow our orchard even more. Check out this variety of tree! What what grows on your tree? Any kind of fruit? Uh, my tree. Yeah, your tree. My, my growing. Oh, you grow. So here's our trees. They're not like in a pot. They're just like a stick. <laughs> um, so we're planting them right away with hopes that that will make them do better. But yeah, we've got two of them. Two Bartlett pears. So. That will expand on our ever-growing orchard. Maybe we'll chop them down. Chop, chop, chop. <laughs> chop, chop. What do you think of it? So we are back from our tree uh, adventure. So we got two new pear trees. We got some strawberries, some asparagus, and some raspberries. So we did order them uh, back in beginning of April and then we had to pick them up middle of May so we picked those up we planted the trees so that was good I'm just uh, giving Henry a bottle here um, I would say it's one of those days where I literally accomplished nothing other than you know the couple of things I did in the morning before we went to the barn so that's a little frustrating because it's nice weather 
and I've got a lot of plants and a whole garden to plant and animal tours and all sorts of stuff to do. But it is now, uh, I think it's about quarter to five. So I don't know if I'm going to get much done today. I don't know. We'll see if I can get Henry to take a nap. He's on the late side for taking a nap too. But hopefully we can still get a few things done um, before the end of the day. Good job. Wow, you're really good at watering. Well, here is our new raspberry plants. They look fantastic. I'm excited about those. And we got strawberries here and strawberries here. I think we will plant those ones tomorrow because they really are fine in those pots and I don't have the time to do them today. The asparagus, on the other hand, tipped over in the truck. So those are exposed roots. I need to get this planted like an hour ago. But the problem is I don't know where I'm going to plant it and I need Henry to go to sleep first. So we will keep rocking the stroller in hopes that he goes to sleep so that we can get stuff done. So considering last time I kind of gave you guys an update on how things were going in regards to lockdowns and things, I figured I would give you another update on that in case you're not from Ontario or, you know, this part of Ontario. Um, so yeah, so we have, our area has been in lockdown for six months now. Um, we've been under a stay-at-home order for six weeks in a row. We were under a stay-at-home order before that too, but um, we had a bit of a break in between. And uh, they just recently extended it for another two weeks. So our stay-at-home order extends now into June. I honestly wouldn't be surprised if it ends up extended again. And I'm sure our area will stay in lockdown for at least another month or two. So that gets a little bit... Um, it just gets discouraging after a while. Sometimes it's hard to remain positive. But um, this nice weather has really helped my mental health. So that's been good because... To be honest, 14 months in a row of, you know, lockdowns and everything has been hard. And I know it's been hard for a lot of people, so I won't go on about that. Um, but yeah, it's probably an understatement to say it's been hard. So that's sort of where things are at. Uh, as far as vaccines go, uh, there is a lot more availability now. You know, a lot of people can get them. Uh, however, they still seem to be spacing out the first and second vaccine quite far apart. So um, we'll see, you know if we end up with enough that that kind of closes the gap or not. So I think that we are going to go with this spot here. We obviously are going to have to dig out the weeds. We obviously have rhubarb over there, but this spot beside it is empty. So I think that that's where we're going to plant it. We're watching this tractor cross the street and he's got, I don't even know what it's called, but big like rollers on the back to smooth out the field. It's not our field, it's the neighbors, but we know them and Levi likes watching. So he's up on top of the chicken coop because he couldn't see on the ground. All right, so I have dug up the majority of this. I'm going to pull out some more of these you know, leaves and grass here, and add some manure and better soil to this. All right, so I got them planted. I know they're a little hard to see. There's one there, and one here, three, four, five. Maybe I should get you some water, huh? Look at I moved the cage a little. Like, look at it's all gone. Like, they just eat it right down. Which, if you need them to, is excellent. This is how we get every single one of our jugs of water. Or watering cans of water, pails of water, from the kitchen sink. I wanted to show you. We've got a new litter of mini plush logs. And they are looking so cute. Look at that. I am so excited. She's got six babies. I'd be so happy. My hard work is finally paying off. So I just collected some eggs. I really think last year at this time, like by middle of May, I had a lot of um, broody hens that were sitting on eggs. But this year I've just got the one. And I keep thinking maybe... 
they'll go broody or they're sitting for a while and I think, oh, maybe you're sitting on the eggs, but no, nothing so far. So um, I would like to hatch a few more chicks, but I don't need to hatch very many, so it's probably okay. Did I show you guys this pile? I don't know if I did. Uh, this here I got for free on the side of the road. I know, there's a common theme around here, right? <laughs> But I'm hoping that we can do something with this in the future, so stay tuned. I'm sure this will be a future video. Well, I'm going to end things here. Thanks, guys, so much for coming along today. Um, I'm just going to get Levi a bath and kind of heading towards bed. Henry is still taking a nap, which, of course, is awkward timing, but at least he's napping. So I accomplished a few things, so that was at least good. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you are new to the channel and you are not subscribed, I would love it if you would join the community here, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!